A neotropical parrot named Tuesday was living his life peacefully on a beautiful island. Everything changes when a huge pirate ship wrecks at the shore. Tuesday has been living on an island whose beauty makes it worthy of being called a paradise. Wide sky, turquoise blue water, and unlimited supply of delicious fruits. Who wouldn't love that? However, Tuesday is bored of this all already and wants to discover what's on the other side of the sea. He explores the shore every day, looking for something that will give him the proof of another world beyond the sea. Today, he finds something shiny and immediately takes it to his nest. He's not alone on the island. His friends include Kiki, a kingfisher, an old goat named Scrubby, a clever chameleon called Carmelo, an Asian taper called Rosie, and a pangolin named Pango. But none of them ever dreamed of getting off the island. In fact, they believe that nothing or no one exists beside what's on the island and sea. Tuesday cleans the shiny object he found, and it turns out to be a gold ring. Though he doesn't know exactly what it is, Tuesday believes that it's something worthy that belongs to the other world. He immediately shows it to his friends, but none of them seem interested. They remind him of the time when he flew across the sea for hours to reach the other end, but didn't find anything. His other world is just a wild imagination. Little do they know, someone is already coming their way to prove Tuesday is right. It's a young map maker named Robinson Crusoe who's traveling the big sea with his loyal dog Ainsley and a few other people. Suddenly a wild storm takes over the ship. Everyone starts running for their lives while Robinson and Ainsley get stuck in the basement. They keep calling our help, but no one can hear them in the noisy storm. The weather is affecting the island as well. The animals start moving to the mountains to find a safe shelter. On the way, Scrubby slips due to his bad eyesight and gets stuck on a weak tea branch. The other animals hold on to the branch and ask Scrubby to walk back to them, but he's too afraid to do that. Carmelo tries to pull Scrubby with his tongue, but fails miserably and hangs down the cliff along with Scrubby. Tuesday also tries to help, but he makes things worse and falls down along with Scrubby and Carmelo. Miraculously, they all survive. The animals take shelter in a cave and spend the night there. The next morning, they walk back to the seashore. Tuesday finds a lantern and gets really excited. He shows it to his friends, but they are more interested in what is lying behind Tuesday. Robinson's ship crashed on their island. Other people on board might have escaped in the lifeboats, but Robinson is still stuck in the basement. Other animals are afraid of the unknown creatures invading their island, but Tuesday is dying with excitement. Despite his friends stopping him, Tuesday flies to the ship to explore it. He sees Robinson breaking out of the basement, so he hides away. He has never seen a human in his life. Robinson uses a broken barrel to reach the island and looks for his mates. The animals assume him as a monster and run away to hide. Carmelo is left behind due to his slow speed and gets caught by Ainsley. In order to save him, the animals start making loud noises. Robinson gets scared and rides the barrel to get away. Tuesday flies back to his friends and scolds them for scaring away the human. He believes that the human could take him to the other world, but his friends ruined everything. However, Robinson returns when the barrel breaks in the middle of the sea. He's afraid of the island, so he stays on the broken ship for a while. The animals keep a strict eye on the ship till late night before they unintentionally fall asleep. The next morning, Tuesday goes to see Robinson again. The human has decided to accept his fate and continue his life on the island. He starts collecting all the materials from the ship and rearranges them so they are able to be used. Meanwhile, Ainsley is resting peacefully. Seeing this, the animals assume that Ainsley is the master and Robinson is his slave who's doing all the chores. Robinson also finds some guns in the ship and decides to polish his shooting skills. As soon as he shoots the first bullet, the animals get scared to death. Even Tuesday starts doubting the human and considers him a potential threat to the island. However, the actual threat is the Wildcats Mal and May who also got here on the ship. They are looking for a chance to find one of the animals alone since they can attack and eat them. After practicing for a while, Robinson gets in the forest to hunt down some animals. He finds Rosie quietly eating some fruits. Robinson points the gun at her but can't kill the poor animal. He changes his mind and shoots in the air to scare away Rosie. Tuesday hears the gunshot and flies there to inquire. Mal and May attack the poor bird but Ainsley gets there to help. Robinson also hates those evil cats and shoots nearby to scare them away. Tuesday has hurt his wing and has fallen unconscious from the shock. He wakes up inside the ship where Robinson treats his wing. However, he will not be able to fly for a while. Tuesday assumes that Robinson is going to eat him so he tries to escape the ship. Ainsley notices and tells him the truth. Robinson has no intention of hurting any of the animals. He even saved the parrot from the wild cats. After hearing the explanation, Tuesday is convinced. Meanwhile, Mal and May talk to the other animals and tell them Robinson has murdered Tuesday and he will kill the rest of them too. The innocent animals believe the cats and agree to take revenge. Mal and May take the responsibility of attacking Ainsley and the ship and tell the animals to attack Robinson with all their might.
Mal and May jump on Tuesday, but Ainsley tries his best to save him. The fight creates a huge mess and accidentally initiates a fire. The ship starts burning and Ainsley is stuck under a door. Tuesday tries hard to save the dog, but time runs out. The whole ship burns down along with the poor dog. Robinson makes a grave for his beloved pet and moans at the loss. Luckily, Tuesday survives and comforts Robinson. Meanwhile, Mal and May also survived and reach the cursed island nearby that's full of bugs and there's not enough food. They decide to stay there and grow their family. Once they are bigger in number, they will attack the island. Tuesday gets to the other animals and tells them the whole truth. They all feel sorry for their behavior and decide to apologize to the human. At first, Robinson raises his gun to defend himself, but then he realizes that the animals just wanted to give him some fruits. Tuesday takes him to where they all live, and he offers some biscuits to everyone. The animals seem to like it and form a good relationship with the human. Robinson wants to build a shelter, but he lacks the carpenter skills. Moreover, the animals cannot help him because they do not even know what Robinson is trying to do. His first attempt fails miserably, but then he decides to make a treehouse instead. He starts shaping the tree, but it's still taking too long. Tuesday is keenly looking at Robinson and guesses that he's trying to make a nest on the tree. He informs the other animals and they are willing to help. Despite having the language barrier, Robinson tries his best to communicate with the animals and they work in a team. After days of hard work, the treehouse is finally complete. Robinson does a short opening ceremony and invites all the animals to live with him in the treehouse. He keeps celebrating his success with music all night. As the days pass, Robinson keeps adding more details and luxuries to his little house. He even builds a whole water supply so he can get water right out of taps in his house. Every day, he collects fruits and vegetables with the animals and also catches fish to have a hearty meal at the end of the day. Robinson also builds a huge light tower and every night he sits on the top of the tower and stares at the sea for hours. He's still hopeful that one day a ship will pass by this island and notice the lights. He wishes to get rescued from this island soon. He really wants to return home. Tuesday understands his longings and informs other animals about Robinson's wish of attracting the humans. The animals don't like the idea and want to keep their island just for themselves. While praying before dinner, Tuesday mentions again about Robinson trying to return home. The animals get sad and worried because they have adopted a new way of living. Thanks to Robinson, they are saved under the shelter and don't have to bear the harsh environment outside. Kiki scolds them for becoming so naive. They are supposed to live under the open sky without the aid of a human. Kiki gets so frustrated that she leaves the house. The next morning, the first thing Robinson does is start looking for Kiki. She was flying around the broken ship when the enemy attacked her. The cats have grown in number and they surround Kiki from all sides. Tuesday speaks the English words he learned from Robinson and uses them to distract the cats. He runs away with Kiki and informs the others about the cat's arrival. The animals rush inside the house and alert Robinson as well. He loads the gun and gets ready to face the cats, but they are unexpectedly a lot in number and attack all of a sudden. A chaos takes over the little treehouse. Robinson accidentally drops his gun and picks up a broom. Tuesday tries to help him but fails and Robinson hangs down the cliff. The loyal parrot doesn't leave the human side and hangs down a rope for Robinson to grab on. He gets back in the house but the cats are still after him. He slips his foot and falls in the storeroom. Meanwhile, the other animals also run away from the cats and gather in the house. Tuesday grabs the gun but doesn't know how to shoot it. While exploring, they accidentally pull the trigger and shoot at the gunpowder bag. It causes a huge explosion and scares away the cats. However, they must figure out a permanent solution. When the cats return, Tuesday acts as bait to attract them and make them follow him. The evil cats put the house on fire before leaving while Robinson is still lying unconscious there. Tuesday takes the cats to the light tower and lure them to the top. Once they get there, the rest of the animals start pushing down the tower towards the sea. Tuesday's tail gets stuck, but Kiki rescues him while the tower falls down in water along with the evil cats. Tuesday rushes back to save his master and brings him down on the ground safely. The huge fire attracts a pirate ship who takes Robinson into their custody. The captain is amused by Robinson's story, but he refuses to believe it. Robinson doesn't mind as the only thing he wants is to return home. He thanks the pirates for giving him a place to stay and requests them to drop him in England. The pirates laugh it off like a joke and tell Robinson that they are not stopping at England anytime soon. They are pirates and they live on the sea. Hearing this, Robinson realizes that his life was better on the island. He must go back. In order to do that, he tries stealing a boat but gets caught. The pirates attack and accuse him of theft. Tuesday uses his human speech to distract the pirates and Robinson gets on the little boat Mal and May used to reach the ship. He rows with all his might to reach the island. 
Seeing his dedication, the captain stops the attack and wishes Robinson the best of luck for his life with his animal friends. A home is not the place you were born in or grew up. It's the place where you loved ones live, the one who cares about you unconditionally. Either they are humans or innocent animals.